Eu. Hey. Ow. Hey. I heard there was a purple party. Welcome to the purple party. Oh my god, you're all purple! Yay! Thank you for the 39 months. Thank you so much. Um, welcome to the purple party, everybody. I don't have a purple shirt. The only... Thank you for the five months. Welcome to the purple party. Uh, the only purple clothing item that I have... <gasps> I wow. did have a purple shirt. For eight wow. Anyway, it's a purple sweatshirt. Purple gang. Thank you! Wow! wow. 420 soupy, 420 soupy Twombly, Excited banana in a bottle, Boris, glitch. Twombly 237 resubbed for 29 months. Don't out-of-pocket me. Are you wearing a purple shirt for the purple party? I bet you're not. Wow. I bet you're not. Thank you. Hold me beans Vato resubbed for 19 months. I am actually. I think you're lying. Um, thank you for the 19 months. Hold my beans. Honeybee. Guys, I, when was the last time I was live this late in the day? A people candle, right? Like a month ago. This is such a weird time for me to be live. Ew, my god, my hair's so frizzy. Flip. Um, wow. it could That's stop it live. Cheers, everybody. It's a, it's a new era. <laughs> Not quit. <laughs> um, no, I've been doing a lot of... I, I've been working on this freaking animal quest all day. I've been in here with space all day, annoying the shit out of him. Because he sits at his computer and works, and I just randomly burst out talking about something that he does not care about. All the time. All day. Um, and so for two hours... What? What do you mean? That I've been working on it all day? Do you guys think that I don't work? Do you think I just sit here? Space has learned a lot about Earth's magnetic field. We've all learned a lot about Earth's magnetic field. Yes. That, for those of you who ask for my advice sometimes, that is what it takes to found and run an animal sanctuary uh, at 21, 22 years old is don't work. And you'll, and you'll get there. Um, thank you. Thank you for the sub. Um, you just give emu baths. Yeah, that's all I did this morning. You guys saw me on cam. I did not muck an entire pasture and wheel out an entire wheelbarrow full of shit. All I did was try to give a chicken a bath. That's what I did. And that's actually, that's where I stopped today. That's all I've done. Um, Animal Quest is tomorrow morning. This genuinely, I think, is like runner-up to Winnie on difficult animal quests to make. There's like a lot. Um, there is a lot with foxes. Um, talk about foxes, where they came from, how they got here, fox hunting, fox bounties, um, the fur trade, the pet trade. Thank you for the 32 months. Um, so, yeah. Uh, bounties, no, different kind of bounties, less fun bounties, where you bring a fox scalp to a facility and then they give you 10 bucks. Okay, they don't give you cash, they actually, they send it to you virtually. But, yeah, so we talk about those, um, and we talk about the fur trade, I've done a bunch of research on the fur trade, it's a whole thing. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about it all tomorrow morning. Absolutely ego checked and Donna walled by San Diego Zoo. They do not love you back. Sophie, that's actually crazy that you say that because nobody else knew about that. Except for literally you in space. Because it made me sad. I went in the San Diego Zoo's chat today and they were chat they were responding to chatters. So I said, Hi San Diego Zoo, I love you. And then they responded like minutes later to somebody else. That was like above me. They're like, hey, how are you? Like, what do you mean? Say it back. Wow. 
Shari Penjin subbed for the first time. Not even the bot responded? I know. They have a bot in there that like welcomes people. It didn't even at me. Thank you, Koopa. Mr. Peanut all over again. I don't want to talk about all that. I'm a taken woman now, so it would be inappropriate. Did you know about that? Flip. Okay. <laughs> no, that I'm talking to you. You just don't say anything. Um, Cry Havoc, thank you for the 50 months. So we're driving somewhere today? Yes. Here's the plan for today. Welcome to the Purple Party. It's called the Purple Party because we're going to see a Purple Martin roost. If you guys don't know what Purple Martins are, um, they're North America's largest songbird. Um, did I just get that wrong? North America's largest swallow? Fact check me. I'm learning as I go. Joe is going to be in chat um, today. I got to message him and say that I started. Swallow. North America's largest swallow. Got to go to the roost. Um, Joe is the CEO of the Purple Martin Conservation Association. Um, he is on Alvarez's board. Thank you. Irish, thank you. Vintage, thank you. Ouch, my facey hole. Thank you. Vintage tops for 29 months. Thank you. Um, so, <laughs> Sniper, wow, thank you. You've been around forever. Doug Wades, thank you. So, North America's largest swallow, um, they have a roost, and we are going to go find it. Joe sent me a video. They are roosting here on their way to, they're on their way to the Amazon. Um, so they have 3,000-ish more miles to go in their migration. They hang out here, and then when winter comes, uh, well, they'll leave at the end of the summer so that they can be in the Amazon during winter uh, because they eat bugs. Hello. Thank you for the 15 months. Um, so they're here right now. Then they're going to migrate to the Amazon. We're going to see them while they're here before they leave. By my girlfriend, Teresa, to you. Thank you. To your girlfriend. Set range, thank you. Um, so, yeah, Connor was going to come with us to see them, but he has to raid. Priorities. So he's not coming. There's an umbrella under there if you want to. Really? Yeah. Where? What are you doing? War Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that'd be great. Why do we need an umbrella, you ask? It's 105 degrees. I haven't told Flip about this yet. There are hundreds of thousands of birds at this roost. It will black out the sky. Um, there's so many of them, and they come out between 8 and 9 p.m., and they catch insects, uh, and they eat them. And so we will be underneath hundreds of thousands of birds today. So we're going to bring a plastic bag for Flip's camera. <laughs> and Flip and I are going to share an umbrella. <laughs> Show us then. That's, that's the plan. Okay, so here's the whole plan for the stream today. We're early, right? It's, it's almost 6 o'clock. We have to go to the grocery store. We have to get purple snacks in celebration of the purple party. And then we have to go to the roost and watch them with our purple snacks. Keeping our purple snacks safe so we do not ingest bird poop. Thank you, Weirdo Shrub, for the 15 months. Um, do a local recording. That many birds might cause a signal loss. Space, we have never accounted for that before. We do not account for that. You can see them. You can see these roosts. Thank you, Connor. You can see these roosts on weather radar. They're that big. So, honestly, we'll see. If that's why we have today, so be it. I'll, I'll record on my phone. We'll record with this camera. Oh, my gosh. We're doing a YouTube video. Shoot. This is also a YouTube video. Let's go film the intro. Oh, my God. That's disruptive. For the video. Red mask. 
Thank you. I really think he said hundreds of thousands of birds. Let me be sure, because when I say that out loud, it just sounds like so ridiculous. I have to tell Space something. Actually, I'll tell him later. Oh, wait, Space, listen to the stream. Guys, I, my lash, the, it, you don't care. The girl that does my eyelash extensions, I've followed her to three salons, and she's been doing my eyelash extensions for over a year. She's like an hour away now. And so I just text her, and I was like, hey, I can't keep driving two hours to get my lashes done every four weeks. I don't have the time. And she just texted me and asked if I want to come to her house. <laughs> do you think that's safe? Should I do that? <laughs> Uh, okay. Um. He said you will prob get pooped on. John Bennis donated fifteen dollars. Get flip his own umbrella. Wow. Our zero wex for sub for six months. Primus. Yippee. I don't see the number. Hold on. Thousand. Set up. How is this? And it's an absolutely absurd number of Martins in the hundreds of thousands. That's what he said. That's what he said. So, um, okay. All right. Crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, uh, it's time to film a YouTube intro. I don't know what's on this umbrella, but it is whack. Are you ready? 565 resub for 52 months. Thank you for the 52 months. Beach, thank you so much. Roix, thank you. Yeah, Zufad. Recording, you can't see, so... Are you ready? Let's hope. YouTube, welcome to today's video. I have an umbrella, not for rain, not for sun, for bird poop. We're going to find some purple martins today. It's a purple party. Like and subscribe. All right, there's the intro. Thank you guys for putting up with the YouTube stuff also because this yeah it's like uh it's like the foxes it's like the snow day video we did for the foxes Ella we're going to the roost the, roost. the purple martin roost I'm gonna need it <laughs> la 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 we're forgetting things right do you have a shotgun Mike can we bring one because I think they're gonna be really loud I and think space took off Huh? Is it in the backpack? Oh, he's grabbing it. Hold on. Thank you. I just think they're going to be really loud and it might be cool to hear them. I'm a videographer. Hooray! <laughs> Do you want a mic? Are you sure? Okay, boring. Oh, I guess it is for YouTube. They hate you over there. Well, there's nothing on the front seat today. Okay, hey guys, um, you know how this goes. I don't know why we always start at Alveus because we F as soon as we start driving every time. We could have started this at the grocery store, but that would take away... Maya carrying an actual shotgun? Where where'd you see a shotgun? I don't have a shotgun. Oh, because I said shotgun, Mike. Right. Okay. Um, we, oh, should we actually get a plastic bag for the camera now? Uh, we have the umbrella. You can have the umbrella. Uh, I will stand in the poop rain so you can be safe. I mean, if anything, I just want it over the lens. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Do you want a hat? No. 
getting there is half the fun. We're going on a field trip, okay? We're going to the grocery store to get our purple snacks for the purple party, and then we are going to find the roost, and then we sit and we wait and we watch. Can you record? Were you recording when I said that? Did I, I just say it again. We're going on a field trip. We're going to the grocery store. We're getting purple foods for the purple party for the purple Martins. We're going to get purple fruit, purple candy, purple chips. We're going to we're going to walk around the grocery store and find some stuff. And then and then we're going to go find the purple Martins. That's all. This is great for a YouTube frog like me. Welcome to behind the scenes and also welcome to the field trip. Did you guys bring your permission slips? Yes or no? Don't show them the nav. I, I didn't think it was important right now because there's nothing on it, but make sure they don't see it. So it's a pink party. No, stupid. Why do none of you have your permission slips? I tweeted about this. I said we were going on a field trip. Can you believe you have to sit like that for 40 minutes? It'll be fun. More than 40 minutes. Christine Seven subbed for the first time. Thank you for the sub. Um, all right, guys, off we go. Flip, do you want to listen to some music? It'd be great for the YouTube video. Subbed for 25 months at Axial Mars. Thanks for the sub. Thank you for the 25 months. Goodbye. La 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 la. Um. You guys want to hear Flip's favorite song? What? You don't even know what my favorite song is. You've never asked me. What is it? I've definitely asked it. you. No, you have not. Yeah, you, yeah, I have. No. Zaya's song for the first time. <sighs> okay, I'll guess. I don't even know what my favorite song is. I can't People say that. Wow. There's too many songs. How are you just going to pick one? What's your months? favorite song? I forgot my permission slip, Satch. Right now, it's one that you would not like. Why? What is it? Axel Mars donated five dollars. Thanks for not acknowledging my supplier. He cried. Axel, wow. thank you for this. Thank you for the sub. for twelve months. High by less than three. I'm Napesig for the twelve months, guys. We are gonna f, but it's okay. Don't be scared. Once you get past the gate, you can just put it at your, on your seat, and then I'll tell you when to bring it up. This is your favorite song. It is right now. Oh, he said test. I thought I thought you said text message, like te check your text message. Space, that's sick. That's so smart. Get pooped on? Really? You know what? What? When we go to HEB and we get snacks, they're gonna give us a bag. True. You're a genius. He said they're gonna give us a bag when we get snacks. He's right. Thank you for the sub. Um, yeah. Yeah. Chat, uh, welcome to the kidnapping sim. One day, <laughs> one day, I am gonna get pulled over for that, and the cop's gonna be like, why? And I'm gonna have to be like, do you know what Twitch is? And then I'm gonna have to explain everything. <laughs> explain that you're robbing a bank? No, that I'm avoiding tolls. It'd be pretty sick. This is weird for me and Flip, because normally we film YouTube videos, and then in between filming, we have conversations about life, <laughs> but now we can't have any conversations. Now we don't know what to talk about. Yeah, what do we talk about <laughs> that's not, that's leakable.
What's your favorite purple snack? I don't really know any purple snacks off the top of my head like that. Okay. What's purple? Grapes. That's like the only one I can think of, but <laughs> I guess grapes. Plums are pretty oh. good. Oh! I'm live. Hello? Hello, I'm live. Hi. Oh, you're live? I'm live. Dude, okay, I will talk more. Besides, I just got into my freaking car. I was okay. doing a Six Flags sponsor. Yeah. And it's 111 degrees outside. Really? It's so hot. That's cringe, actually. It's only 100 here, I think. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's like, it's a lot, man. It's hot. It's a hot day in the neighborhood. You should try to fry an egg. Right. Oh, uh, that would be a good stream, but I don't... Honestly, it would actually be kind of sick to just leave it there. Just watch an egg fry in the sun stream? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea, but I have to drive home from Magic Mountain. Okay, well, I hope you had fun at Magic Mountain. I'm I going... did. I'm going to see birds. Where? Uh, here. There's a a purple oh, martin. Oh, this? <laughs> no, no, it just, but like in Texas, there's a there's a purple martin roost. Um, so there's like hundreds of thousands of birds that fly at sunset to catch bugs and stuff. So we're going to oh, find cool. them. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. That's very cool. All right, well, have fun. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Okay, goodbye. Cutie calling me just to say it's 111 degrees. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta call mine. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, purple snacks. I bet they have a lot of purple candy. I think that's where we're gonna get like the luckiest. If they have purple cookies, that's huge. Plums, grapes. Plums, grapes, cupcakes, blue corn chips. They're purple. Eggplants. Okay, we don't need an eggplant. Why not? What are we gonna do with a raw eggplant? Yeah, you can't just take a bite out of them? No, Flip. That's gross. They're not good? No. Da 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 purple sweet potato that we don't cook. Purple onions? Purple, technically it's a red onion. Purple lettuce? That's cabbage. <laughs> Red cabbage. <laughs> uh, I don't think beets, like beets are kind of purple. Da, 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 da. I really like this song too. Flip doesn't like music like this. Flip likes music like like a lot of like that. He likes music like that. This music looks pretty good. Not bad. Not bad, he says. Flip just produced a really incredible music video. I saw the thing that you posted. It actually looked really good. It does look really good. Like, the sunglass shot was sick. The shots look really good. They look Incredible. really good. The new music video is going to be even better. It's a song about milking each other. Ew. Why do you say it like that? Isn't that what it is? It's no, about... It's, I mean, it was the meme, I guess. The meme is like a milking stream or something. Yeah, they just said, when is the milking stream about? It's for Jimmy here. And then... People would, like, come up to him. IRL 
at like conventions and ask them when the milking stream is. Nobody, I told you you needed a mic. Nobody knew what it was. Oh. Oh my God. What? You have one? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God! Welcome to the podcast, everybody. Hello. Flip. Ah! <laughs> Tell them a secret. I muted you on accident. What? <laughs> That's so mean. Well, that's what happens when you ask me to turn stuff on. I break it. Are you really? Are we yeah. really? Give me, no, I'm, you, you're not, or I'm not muted. Give me your mic. <laughs> that's what you get. That's what you Check. get when you let your heart win. Whoa. You know that song? No. Really? Whoa. I'm surprised you don't know that song. I mean, I've heard it. <laughs> but I don't, like, know it. I'm actually really hungry. I'm really excited to get purple foods. It's going to be a dinner. Purple dinner. Can I take this one? There you go. Hello, everybody. Oh, Welcome to the podcast. What? It's just too much work Turn it and on. I broke it. Turn it on. I broke it last time. Boring. Okay, welcome to the podcast. Flip, tell them something they don't know about you. Uh, tell them you have a special talent? Ew. No. Do you have a special talent? No. Why not? I don't have anything, like, cool. I do a pretty good Pee Wee impression. Check. Okay, well, we're stuck. <laughs> I turned it on, settle down. It's on. I know you turned it on. Hmm? I know you turned it on. That was my Pee Wee impression. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, was, that was it. Wait, so your mic is on now? Yes. You're mic'd up. Wow, mm -hmm. cool. Um, I'm so glad you unclipped this mic. Really helpful. I didn't unclip it. Okay, you asked me to unclip it. Um, okay, everybody, welcome to the podcast. This is me and Flipper Cards. Ew, why do you say it like that? That's not how it's pronounced. <laughs> also, why do you leak that alt? This is me and Flip Your Cards, everybody. Is... Welcome to the set. Not Flip Your Cards, this is Station 3 Media. There we go, that's Leaked. better, I think. This is Flip. You, should I say your actual name? <laughs> <laughs> no. I could say the whole thing. I could leak it. For fun. I could leak your whole name, too. Do it. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're a bully now. <laughs> Guys, my full name's been leaked. Uh, it's really tragic, but it is what it is. Are you going to tell them something? That they don't know yet. I mean, I don't know what they don't know. I'm sure they know a lot of things. What's your favorite band? I've already said this. They, some of them might know my top five because they asked me my top five before and I said it. Okay. What's your favorite fruit? I like watermelon. Okay, interesting. Very thirst quenching. Okay, interesting. What's your favorite vegetable? Uh, do potatoes count? No. Why not? It's not a vegetable. Is it not? Is it a fruit? It's a root. It's a root vegetable, technically. So it's a vegetable. It's not a good answer. No, it is a good answer because potatoes are the best. They go on everything. It's wrong. The answer is wrong. That's not wrong. Do you not like potatoes? I love potatoes, but I wouldn't. If someone asked what my favorite vegetable was, I would not say it's a potato. For Thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. Um, my favorite vegetable is, uh, either Brussels sprouts or broccolini. Do you like hash browns? I love hash browns. That's a potato. 
I, yeah, I know. You like fries? I said I. Do you like? Did you think I said I did? Potato wedges. Well, I mean, that's like the best vegetable, hands down. They they are used in so much stuff. No, I, I agree that they're great. I'm just saying, I wouldn't say that it was a vegetable. If someone asked me what my favorite vegetable was, I would not think of a potato. That's because you weren't like properly thinking. But when you think about it, all your favorite foods are potato-based foods. Do you like potato chips? I don't think you know what my favorite foods are. Potato chips. No, it's, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not up there for me. How do you feel about donuts? They're pretty good sometimes, but like too much sweets is like hurts. I don't like them. So I used to uh, decorate cakes and stuff, but the like fondant. How old smell are you? Of fondant. I'm thirty. Hey, you've had so many jobs. I've done a lot of stuff. <laughs> I worked in the food industry a lot. Okay, so you're a cake decorator. Yeah, but the smell of the fondant was like too much for me. I couldn't do it. I see. You're old. <laughs> 30. Other jobs that Flip has had, let me leak them all. We've had a lot. I'll leak only one. Would you remember? Chat first, guess what it is. And then I will tell you, because none of you are going to be right. <laughs> you remember some of my old jokes? Yes. I'm going to say one of them only. I'll tell you what they guessed. Uh, he does not look 30. That's big. <laughs> okay, they're all saying inappropriate things. Chad, it's not inappropriate. They're saying, like, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, what no are they way. saying? Basketball player, chimney cleaner, funeral director. <laughs> plumber. Okay. Um, Is the rest of them are inappropriate. Gymnastics coach. Oh, yeah, I did that. Do you remember <laughs> that one? Flip is a gymnastics coach, everybody. Teaching little kids how to do flips and shit. Yeah, I've taught like a six year old how to do a backflip. Wow. That's fascinating. I would love to see you interact with a kid. I think that'd be really interesting. <laughs> I'm good at, like, coaching children and stuff and, like, interacting with them, but mm, children are too much for me. Oh, I agree. I get to be a handful. I'm with you. I think they're a little cringe sometimes, but, you know, we need them. So, they're there. Have you ever seen the show Kid Nation? No. Really? You ever heard the song Kids Bop? Yeah, well, that's not a song. That's like a band. <laughs> but yes, I've seen every single infomercial <laughs> of Kids Bop. Uh, what is Kid Nation? Kid Nation. Is it like a talent show for kids? No, it's like a TV show where they like take a bunch of little kids and put them in like a town. And then they have to like survive in the town, and then they like make so their own rules. Unethical. And oh, it was, it was crazy. That's they had to like insane. shut it down after the first season. Shit was nuts. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember How watching old it. Was, there, there was like a bunch of like all different ages. Like, I think the oldest was like fifteen, and the youngest was like probably like eight or something, maybe even younger. Oh my god! And they had them like that is fascinating. Government. I would love to know like what they came up with. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's a good show. It's nuts. But that's crazy. Huh. Yeah, I saw it when I was really young when it first came out. Huh. The show never left my head. Um. So Kids Bop. Wow. Yeah, it was. Ba that's how they invented kids, kids Bop. The, first time. the kids from Kid Nation. <laughs> yeah, the kids from Kid Nation all singing. When they had live Bob. music in their town, it was Kids Bop. Mm -hmm. And then they broke off, became independent. Kids Boppers. Some of the kids' pop songs are really good. <laughs> I don't believe it. Do they have it on Spotify? <laughs> Maybe. You want to check? There you go. Oh, you Chat, want me I to held that up. Spotify? I held it up so I could use my face ID. It's okay. Do 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 do. I want to hear some kids' pop. Baby, let's go. 
I don't know what any of these songs are, but I'm just gonna play it. It's gonna be so good. Blasting it. It. This is everybody. This is Dance Monkey by Kids Bob Kids. <laughs> That doesn't sound like a kid. You don't think so? No. Sounds like Hannah Montana. This is what I sound like. That does not sound like a kid. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Let's see, it does. That's like Justin Bieber. That's a kid. 12 year old kid. Okay, now it sounds like kids. Now that they're all together. That's just what I sound like. This is this sucks actually. I hate this. What a stupid idea. You asked. You wanted to see Kids Bob. Yeah, I know. I just didn't think it'd be like that. I thought they'd be younger. But now I just feel self-conscious. That guy bought a flower. That's so nice. Meow. Meow. I'm gonna park all the way over here because I like the weather. Oh, yeah, and I weather. want to experience more of it. Hooray! All right, you want to record? You recording? Wait, hold on. Let me double check to make sure the exposure level's good. Yeah, we're good. Uh, all right, rolling. We're at the grocery store. It's time to go get purple snacks for the purple party. Is that good? I don't know if that was it. I'm just going to exit. Give him my Hi, check. I'm stuck. All right. Scared me. I really, I don't love that I'm wearing like neon green. Why? It's just cause it like draws more attention, you know? I mean, I think either way we're drawing a bunch of attention. It's not really gonna matter. Well, don't say that. Oh, it's bright. are staring at you. Flip. Put it down. <laughs> okay, sorry. When do you want me to roll? When we get in? Yeah, let's go in this way. There are less people, maybe. Dude, it's so hot. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit hot. How's your tattoo? This jacket doesn't help. It's healing pretty well, you wanna see? Wow, it doesn't look diseased yeah. anymore. Diseased? It never looked diseased. It did, actually. It was light and flaky, stabbing, right. you can which is good. Now. And, wait, hold on, let me double check exposure. We're good, rolling. We're rolling, welcome to the grocery store. Welcome to Maya doesn't have anxiety for once. We're gonna go find some purple snacks. I feel fine about this. I also don't feel like I'm standing out at all, so that's big. Um, Welcome to my crib. I don't know. So you can, I don't have anything else to say. Oh, wait, there's purple flowers. All right. All right. I'm cringing. 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 Oh. Hey. Oh my God. She looks like she means business. Okay. Should I? I should get a basket, I think. Stop filming me. <laughs> I yell at the videographer to stop filming me. <laughs> He's filming me. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. It's off to a great start. Uh, these are purple, but I also don't, oh, they're not ripe. I don't wanna get these. I changed my mind. Moving on. These are purple. 
Why are there so many? Why can't I get less of them? I just want like a, a, a stem of grape. Chat, which are more purple? These ones or these ones? Definitely these ones. That is red. These are black seedless grapes, but they look kind of purple, right? Should I just get this? Why is this bag so sad? Purple food number one. All right. Purple food number two. Have you ever had a fig? You will today. A fig, what? Really? Okay, that's okay, we'll okay, put it down. It Thank you. Just point it down. <laughs> Chat, uh, we gotta get in and out of here fast. <laughs> um, I knew when we walked in here too and I saw her, I was like, that's not good. We should have walked in the other way. Uh... No, guys, no, 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 no. She was so nice. <laughs> she was so nice. Okay, we're going this way. You can walk next to me now. You don't have to walk behind me. You can walk next to me now. I'm kind of surprised that none of their cookies are purple. No purple donuts. No purple donuts, no purple cookies. I can get a purple drink. You want an energy drink? You like energy drinks? Should we both get an energy drink? Really? Do you want, I don't like kombucha. I don't want to get don't kombucha. Like no, do you want it? I have that, that's perfect. You want a stride recovery? I've never heard of it. What is it? It's perfect. It's an electrolyte recovery drink. It's probably so bad. Oh, grape soda. Do you drink soda? Do you want that? Sure. Okay, I'm getting two of those. Chat, I'm getting grape sodas. You can't see it, but that's what I'm doing. Okay. And then we just need some grape candies and then we're, we're really out of here. Here's this. Purple bag of Takis. And if I don't see anything by the time we get to self-checkout, we're leaving. I'm stressed. All right, we're going. Purple gum. Yum. Purple gum, everybody. <laughs> okay. Honestly, this isn't the worst snack haul I've ever seen. You guys like the floor? Pretty sick, right? Are 
I feel fine about it. They want to eat the floor. We got a bag. Thank you. All right, are you filming? I have terrible news. <laughs> we got kicked out. Kick, Flip and I got kicked out for the first time and us filming together. She was really nice about it, but now I'm scarred and I will never do it again. I will never film in another store again. I will never, I will never stream in public again. This is the end of an era. People pause. Thank you for the 24 months. Yeah, good try, little shit. We're too far from the store. Nice try. That dude waved at us? Oh, that's huge. Did you wave back? Okay. I'm pretty sure that was like the only employee in the store. Who we care? Same. Right, I know. And I knew that when we walked in, I was like, that's unfortunate. She means business. I think she's like the manager or something. Terrible news also, I kind of have to pee, but like, I'm not going to be able to until this stream is over. That is not what we're looking for today. That is a great tailed grackle who is missing a tail. Thank you, Uncle Rod. See, the thing is, is, they don't allow you to film in any stories. Right. But we've never it's been. It doesn't matter if they care or not. No, yeah. Well, there's a first time for everything. Um, all right. Oh, my God. I, I have to pee. Well, we get there, and then we have to go in a store to pee. And then you have to cameraman me peeing. Why don't you just run in right now? No, it's so far. It's going to take forever. It's a big store. I have to find the bathroom. Then you're gonna be sitting in this hot car, and then I'll, I'll leave the car on and then. Pop, wow. The most passive IRL streamer Thanks, ever, Siren, guys. A good day for a purple I'm not an IRL streamer. Don't call me that. Roll down the windows. Bad, bad choice. <laughs> bad idea. Not a good idea. Okay, don't show the nav. Um. for 30 months, Peach. Don't say that. All right, we got a little drive. We're just gonna be like chilling. We'll do a purple snack review when we get there. And then we're gonna be, why are you streaming IRL? Are the birds at Alveus? No. How are we gonna see them otherwise? Okay, um, I'm gonna put some music on. This is um, Savage Love by Kids Bop Kids. I mean, do you know the real song, real version of any of these songs? Yes. Really? You didn't oh. know either. I know no. both of them. No. I think most of them do. Thank you. That's awful. Um, we're instead going to play my uh, college house party playlist. Excellent. Uh -huh. 
tapping on my seatbelt. One second. Okay. They can suffer. We're so early, Flip. Are we? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be like almost an hour. Early. Let's go and get smoothies. Do you want a smoothie? Purple smoothies. That is a smoothie place. Is it? Yeah. This needs to relax. We're gonna get yelled at again. I know, I'm scared. <laughs> they have coffee and boba. That's not a smoothie. There's so many pedestrians. So much room for error. <laughs> Critical error. Um, yeah, we gotta figure out what to do about this peach situation without me having to abandon stream for more than a couple minutes. Just run into a gas station. No. What if I, what if I have to get a key? Why would you have to get a key? Because a lot of gas stations, you need keys to use the bathroom. He had a stop sign if you saw that and were wondering what was going on. He just didn't really want to use the stop sign. Oh, he's turning. That's okay. Okay. All right. Um. I'll I'll pee somewhere. Don't worry. But we can just turn the camera sometime. My hair. That song. You hated it? You hated it or you skipped it? I didn't hate it, it just wasn't, it didn't make any sense. You know? Sure. Oh, this, this one makes it's sense. It's playing now, yeah, it sounds like birds. It's called birds. <laughs> Guys, this is so sick. Welcome to the purple party. Sunflowers. Guys, we have, we have like 15 minutes or so until we get there. So welcome really? back. Yeah. That didn't seem like 40 minutes. Well, that was really fast. Here we are. Okay, maybe it's like 20 minutes away. And we didn't even have to like shit talk and we're already almost there. It's crazy. Should we? Yeah. For tradition's sake? Yeah. Okay, who do you want to talk about first? Okay. <laughs> Let's start venting. <laughs> uh, I don't like young Jeff. Yeah. That he guy sucks. That guy sucks. He's the worst. He's the worst. He's so mean to everybody. And also the time he came and did Aldeus collab, he wasn't funny. <laughs> 
was really t I was targeted. <laughs> Flip thinks you're not funny, Jeff. Someone clip it, send it to him. He's gonna cry. Bird. The shit talking doesn't feel That's the same when it's not real. When it's fake, yeah, it's no not shit. <laughs> okay, let's actually talk shit about Young Jeff then. <laughs> oh no. He really pissed me off last night. I did actually see Young Jeff last night. I also saw Wajito last night. I kicked his ass in ping pong. You should have seen it. It was so embarrassing. Well, he don't, he's great. Wooj. Jeff sucks. Wooj. I also kicked Russell's ass in ping pong. You should have seen it. It's crazy. So you don't like this song? Even though it's the Not bird really. anthem? I'm a big fan of it. No, the bird anthem is Nelly Furtado. I'm like a bird. I want to fly away. I don't okay, know where my home Holy is. Shit. Oh my god, what are you doing? I, my car is regenerative braking. Okay, that is not an excuse. Yes, just, it is. It breaks really up. hard. It doesn't it like gross. braking and like stop and go traffic. It's not good for it. It doesn't like it. And so it tries not to. And then you really have to like slam on it to actually brake. It's a great little, it's a great truck. What the heck was that? It looked like a big snake, but it was just a wire. Sad. I'm trying really hard to get over the nausea. That was terrible. Oh my god, that is so dramatic. It was bad. It was That's bad. crazy and embarrassing. What's your favorite animal? Favorite animal? It used to be a cheetah. Okay. Uh, I really like huskies. Yeah. That was a good one. I picked up a husky. A few what, does days ago. what does that mean? You picked up a husky. I Thank found you. it on the street and I put it in my car. That's why there's husky hair on the what? seat. What? Yeah. What was it? Why was it wandering? I don't know. I drove around for a little bit, talked to some neighbors. They were like, oh, it looks like our neighbor's dog. And then they offered to walk it around to their neighbors. And so I helped to get it in their yard. And then I didn't have to take the dog to the vet to get scanned. There's a cat that every time I come home late at night, he visits me. Bring him inside. Uh, he has got a collar, and the collar says, if you take my cat, I will hunt you down. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It literally says I don't that. believe you. I promise you. I'll take a picture of it next time. Okay, well, their cat shouldn't be outside. Well, he's outside every night that I come home, and he yells at me and demands pets. Cats are on the list of the top 100 worst invasive species, according to the IUCN. Domestic cats, red fox are also on there. People bog. Dimisimenosine triphosphate. Thank you for the sub. Who do you bring with you to a deserted island to survive? A celebrity or a streamer? A celebrity? Who do I bring with me? Yeah. Uh, Les Trout. What? Les Trout, is that his name? Survivor Man? Wrong. Why? I didn't know his name, he's not famous enough. What? You bet, I bet you know who Bear Grylls is. Yeah. I bet you would take Bear Grylls. I would take Les Trout. That's the difference between you and me. No. That's not true. I would not take Bear Grylls. I would take a member of the royal family. What is this, Pirates of the Caribbean? No, they, they would come get me. Are you going to start a rum fire? I, they're guaranteed come get me. Yeah, they, what is this, Pirates of the Caribbean? Do you think they're like tracked? Do they're GPS tracked? They, they don't know where you are. They, they don't know where find, they are. They find me because no. they want their family back. This isn't lost. They okay. have endless resources. This they isn't find lost. Me. You're not Penny. They find me. You're I don't not know who that Desmond. Is. I don't know who that is. 
don't know what Penny's you're talking not about. coming for you. It's not I'm Penny's boat. Too young for this conversation. I was born in 1998. I don't know what lost is. That's. I think that's old enough for lost still. I don't remember. I don't know. I know that there's a, a cover with an ocean and a guy with curly hair. That's all I know about Lost. Huh? A guy with curly hair? Oh. Yeah. Zaid, I think you're talking about. Oh, of course. Does that sound like his name? Yes. Did you recognize his name when you saw his hair? No. I don't know anything about Lost. So probably one of the best TV shows ever made, possibly. Really? I love it. One of my favorite shows ever. I, it's not the best TV show ever made. That's super hyperbole, but I love it. You know what show I used to love is Criminal Minds, mm-hmm. and I started watching it. I started rewatching it. It is like hard to watch bad. I yeah. used to, I watched it in high school. It was like I thought it was the best show ever. I watched it today. I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's it's like so bad. That probably shaped I, your taste for. I've media. only watched a few episodes. Granted, I've watched it. I'm watching it in like the worst of it. Like Morgan's gone. Spoiler, like it, some like new actors are there that I don't care about that are on the team that I don't care about. So like Hotch is gone. So maybe it's just like the worst era. Maybe I need to go back a couple seasons. But, like I started watching the newer episodes and they're like so bad. It's really sad. Yeah, the new, you know, the old stuff probably isn't as bad, but it's still just like garbage TV that's like nobody actually consumes. Yeah. Which is probably why you enjoy Walking Dead. I stopped watching it. Yeah, I told you it's bad. I got to like the sixth or seventh season, though, and then I, I stopped. I tried warning you. I do want to know how it ends. I don't think it ever ends. They, they're still filming it? I don't know. I, they're probably not. Huh. Well, I do like that show. I did like that show. I watched a little bit of Ted Lasso. I'm not caught up on Ted Lasso, but I've watched some of it, and it's fine. I watched, uh, you ever watch, uh, you ever, you ever watch The Ultimatum? No, I've never even heard of it. It's a bunch of couples, and they, like, long-term couples, and they all meet together, and one of them is giving the other an ultimatum, as in, like, we get married or we're done. But then one of them's not ready, so they all meet at this, like, villa, and then, uh, they all have to break up and then pick a new partner out of the couples that came together and they have to live with them for a month to figure out if they're ready to get married to their partner or if they want to keep exploring. Oh no, we're gonna miss this. I was too distracted telling you about the (laughs) ultimatum. It's a really good show. Are you gonna be a contestant? No. Uh, It's a crazy show though. I just watched the queer edition. This is all lesbians. Which honestly is like double difficulty for that show, I feel. Okay, a tragedy has struck, I miss the turn, it happens, or I miss the exit, things happen. You know, you can't win them all, uh, but here we are. She just added an extra 15 minutes to No, her I didn't, I added five. Literally. Not even five, I added four. Texas highways are dumb. Anyway, it's a crazy time, and then, uh, and then they, some of them, you can leave with your new partner if you want, that you've lived with for a month. You can like decide to date them, and you can actually break up with the partner you came with, or you can just decide to break up as a whole, or you can get back together because you miss them so much, and you realize that there's nothing better out there, so fuck it, I'll just stay with you. There's no possible way that healthy couples go out on that show. Oh, of course it's gotta not. be just like a bunch of Look, really I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure that there's any possible way there are real couples that are on that show. Oh, you think I, it's all I don't, fake? I don't believe that all these couples have been together for three plus years. That was really nice. What? What you just did. I do a lot of stuff like that, you never notice. <laughs> okay. Well, I, was, I try to make it not noticeable. Okay, well, that was nice. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Wait, wait. Dude, okay. 
Thank you so much for being so kind and patient, but I really wanted you to go. This sun is insane. Hmm? Nothing. He said purple. Oh, did he? Is that code word for drug? Uh, probably, I don't know. Depends. I mean... Cough syrup? Yeah, cough syrup, or... If you're really old, purple haze. It's like some old, old slang. Purple rain. From like the 80s of Purple Rain. You know that song? No. You ever listen to Prince? No. You ever bathe in the waters of Lake Minnetonka? What? Did you just make that up? No. What's purple haze? Purple haze? Yeah. It is a strain of marijuana. Oh, yum. You ever heard the Jimi Hendrix song, Purple Haze? No. I don't know any Jimi Hendrix songs. Really? At all? No, but I know he plays guitar. Yeah, he's like one of the fucking pioneers of guitar. Oh. Cool. Did you ever play Oregon Trail? <laughs> Yeah, I love that game. That game's so good. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, it's a good game. It's a good game. It's I didn't know you game. were a video gamer. I am a gamer. Actually, I'm a professional gamer. That's what I do for a living. That's what I tell people when they ask me. La, 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 la. Blah, 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 blah. So I haven't played a game in a long time. For Thank you for the 20, 20 months. Thank you. Cool, 20 months. Um, I play games all the time. Do you know? Mm -hmm. The Beaver City Builder one? Yeah, it's a good game. What was the game called? Timberland. Timberland. Yeah, it's a good one. Coffee boosted. I actually like months. City Builders. My grandfather made purple Martin houses in my area for a long <gasps> time. I can still point them out even though he's been gone 10 years now. Hooray! I'm pulling the houses down on the poles to clean out imposter nests as a child. Cute. That's so nice. Um, yeah, there are lots of crazy things about these birds, you guys. There's, uh, their populations have decreased significantly in the past 10 years. Not enough for them to be classified as anything other than least concerned by the IUCN. But that is dumb because the only reason their populations haven't completely dwindled is because people put up purple martin houses. They are completely dependent on human housing because they're secondary cavity nesters. Um, and other birds, invasive birds, European starlings, European house sparrows. European starlings are on that top 100 list too of most worst invasive species. European starlings, European house sparrows, also second cavity nesters, secondary cavity nesters, take purple, mar purple martin nesting space and then they have nowhere to live. And then uh, there are other things that, that contribute to them not making it. But uh, that is one of them. And so they rely on human housing. And there are a lot of people that provide housing for purple martins, every bird that you're going to see tonight in like an hour came from someone's yard. It's, and apparently that's unbelievable when you see the amount of birds. We're going to find out. It'll be very interesting. Oh, the video that I tweeted, every single one of those birds was born in a human provided artificial nest. All right. Well, now that we're rolling, do you want to repeat all of that bar for bar? Uh Flip! Why didn't you tell me to stop? <laughs> no, I'll repeat it when we get there. You know, you could probably just take the clip from the stream. Probably, maybe, yeah. I don't know. I mean, and if the video doesn't look good, the audio will be fine. Joe, if you're in chat, feel free to correct me on anything that I'm wrong about. Um, obviously, I, I just read what you sent today and did a little bit of research today, but I am no Purple Martin expert by any means. I'm actually not an expert in a lot of things. Pop smoke, maybe. Do 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 do. What are you listening to? What? Big fan of Tech Nine. Yeah. cinematic shot because the sun is setting and it looks pretty no, and we're yeah, listening yeah. to this you can't see the sun setting in the background it's thank you
Pinky Bonky loves this song. I did not expect you to have a Tech Nine song on your playlist. Just you should look through my there. playlist. They're wild. <laughs> you should hear my angry playlist. There's a lot of Tech Nine on it. There's a lot of Brockhampton on it, actually, which is... No, you... there are some Brockhampton songs that are kind of angry. How do you even know who Tech Nine is? I don't know. Spotify? Really? I don't know anything about any of these artists. It's probably just songs that were recommended to me. I have some Limp Bizkit <laughs> oh my God. on my angry playlist. Is that why you uh, keep asking me about Limp Bizkit? It just seems like someone, it seems like music that you would like. You seem like you would enjoy Fred Durst. I don't know who that is. <laughs> and like, say, like, that's so incredibly crazily rude that you would say <laughs> I would listen to Limp Bizkit. That's insane to me. Why? That band is just the worst. I wouldn't even call <gasps> it a band. Slander. Oh my god, that's so mean. <laughs> Oh, wait, are we on my mad playlist? Is this not my... This is... Who is this? An F. Yeah, we don't need to listen to this right now. What's next? Oh, a good one. A classic. Dude, something's pulling my hair and it's really pissing me off! Do you have to work after this? Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of work, yeah. Interesting. I have another music video to shoot, so I'm trying to put out together like the whole. What if I asked you to shoot stuff. a music video? You when? You when? I'm ready. I hated that answer. Why? I think you would make a really great music video. Wait, that's so nice. There's actually there's no way you believe that's true. It would be so awkward to shoot a music video with me. Can you imagine? Why? No, it'd be great. Can you imagine? You'd be so much better at video than even modeling. And like even then, like, is it so much easier because it's so much more direction? Oh. And then like so even with modeling, it'll be a lot easier for you when you like have like a direction that you want the photo. Like it was super hard for the merch just because it's like it's merch. Like how the fuck do we shoot that? We just need to like make it kind of look natural. Right. And that's what made it difficult. But like if you're like over exaggerating the poses and whatnot and trying to make it like look artsy and stuff, I think it'd be great at that. I think you'd be fine with that. That's really nice of you. I think I would suck ass. <laughs> but hey. It's what it is. Flip and I are gonna do a photo shoot, you guys. Flip is gonna, Flip has incredible artistic prowess and I need to farm Instagram. So, um, we're doing actual pictures. It's gonna be a time to be alive and not pictures at Alves, like not me with an animal or me doing something with an animal. Actual pictures. Nice ones. Connor said the other day, he was like, if you get engaged, would you want Flip to shoot your engagement photos? And I, you know what I said? I wouldn't want to do that. I said I would rather die. I wouldn't want to do that. That'd be terrible. <laughs> I just wouldn't want the pressure. That'd be awful. <laughs> and so it's just like, that's not what I do. The process would be so awkward. It would be awful. <laughs> be awful. You'd be like, oh my god, my hair, why didn't you tell me? Okay, well that's <laughs> not just engagement photos, it's any pictures that we do, but it's also, I feel, your job to tell me if I look ugly, because you're the yeah, one Yeah, I would tell you that. that. If me. you looked ugly, I'd be like, yo, dude, Okay, my hair serious. is frizzy, I would like for you to tell me, hey, Maya, your hair's fucked up, and then I'll fix it. When does your hair ever not look frizzy? Oh <laughs> my god, that's so mean. <laughs> so mean. Let's go all the way to Waco. I'm down. Okay. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Guys, we're like five minutes away. It's happening. Except we're five minutes away and then it's an hour before the birds show up. But I was not going to miss this, okay? I was not going to rush and be late. So we're not. And also, I was going to spend a lot more time at the grocery store. But then oh, we yeah. got kicked out and I panicked and then we just left immediately. So, I actually plan pretty well. But, uh, yeah, not well enough. No. 
This reminds me of a California highway. Why? I don't want to be behind this truck anymore. It's a UPS truck. Uh, it's there. That's where it is. The roost? Yeah. We're it's almost be there. here. Yeah. You yeah, gotta start coming. Rolling. We are almost. YouTube? We are almost there. We are going to the roost. There's a few trees where they like to hang out. The theory, I guess, is that they pick islands because naturally they would nest in trees above water because then there's lower chance for predation and so there there's these big trees in this parking lot and that's where they all hang out and so we're like a couple minutes away from the roost where they hang out and that's the update and then we're going to sit down and we're going to do a purple food review purple snack review and yeah that's it that was a weird exit no that was confusing to me. Now I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I didn't think that was merging. I thought I was gonna die. That car was gonna merge into me. I kinda didn't think that was that weird, but... How come you never drive? <laughs> I've never seen tell. you drive. I've never been in a car with you driving. Really? Never. I'm a really good driver. Really? Mm -hmm. I have a perfect driving record. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't believe that at all. Uh, yeah, well, you know, you know, high school. <laughs> I went to high school too. Yeah, well, you know. Um, no, I I rear-ended someone once in high school. Um, I scraped the fuck out of the side of my, my F-150. You've probably seen it um, in high school. Um, I've not gotten an accident in this truck. I have several speeding tickets. Oh my God. On my record. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Should we see if they have a grimace shake? What? <laughs> They don't have a grimace shake anymore. Oh. There's a McDonald's. Oh, I could have peed. So what is... Never mind. What? No, I take it back. I have to stop calling out things that I see when I'm driving and I'm streaming. Because it's just like, let me just give you the coordinates, actually. Mm -hmm. Not that it matters, because you guys are going to know where we are, but... I mean, for the most part, you're not, but some people are. La 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 Wait, where do I go in here? Okay, we... Oh, I am jumping the gun, I think. Well. I think I'm turning too early. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to the real I side. have indeed turned too early. Thank you for gifting a sub. Okay, yeah. I need to... I need to turn around. I need to turn around. I need to keep going. You guys want to go to the dentist? Yes. Do you like the dentist? I love it. Really? I actually missed my dentist appointment today. What? Why? Yeah, because, I mean, they were supposed to take out a molar, or a wisdom tooth. But I didn't want to wake up. <laughs> it's too early. Oh, my God. You go to your dentist yep. appointment? Yep. So you have to get a wisdom tooth removed? Yep. That's going to be... I have to, but they want me to, and I don't want to do it, but they're like, you should. And I was like, ugh. Hmm. Believe it or not, I think I went too far now. Really? Yeah, I think there was an entrance. Maybe I can get in here. But yeah, I, I do think I went too far. Unless we're... I got, a very, I got very specific directions on where to park here, um, and I think it's right here, actually. We're crazy with it. It's incredible. Well, let's go into every store Whoa! and see how many we get kicked out of. No! <laughs> I think it's here. 
So it's like these trees. But I don't see a bunch of bird poop on the ground, which is, oh, yes, I do. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a lot I found of the trees. Everywhere. Shall we investigate really quick? The bird poop all over Dude, the ground? Dude, this car is going to get fucked if they don't leave within the next hour. Like, big time fucked. This is crazy. Guys, you have to see this. What you, what you got to do is you got to get out and taste the ground to see what direction they're coming Bro, from. Bro, what's wrong with you? That's Can you start filming? An old settler's trick. Uh, <clears throat> rolling. Okay, we are looking for the trees that they nest in, and I was like, how are we gonna find them? They're not here yet. Um, it's, we found where they are. Come look. Look at all this poop. Look at this car is gonna get absolutely destroyed. Where are they now? Look at that fire hydrant. This is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna have to actually dunk my shoes in bleach when I get back to the property. Look at all this poop. This is incredible. We're here. Look at this fire hydrant. Have you ever seen a fire hydrant with this much poop on it? Probably not. My stream's cool, thanks for watching. <laughs> Look at those rocks. Why are there, why is there stuff in the tree? Why, Joe, why are there strings in the tree? Are people trying to deter them from being here? Cause if they are, I will climb up this tree right now. I'm serious. <laughs> I'll rip them down. I can't see why those would benefit birds at all. Is that one? Huh? Is that one? No. That's not what we're looking for. That's a great tailed grackle. I have no clue if I got that on stream. I can't see the screen. That's okay. It was a great tailed grackle. Um, okay, so I have to pee really bad. <laughs> Do you think they have a bathroom in the old navy? My car is still on. Yeah. The local Audubon was worried about them flying into the lights of the building, so they put the ribbons up. Don't worry, they don't work anyway. Oh. Well, I guess that's kind of nice. Um. Okay, you guys. I have to pee. I'm going to run into Old Navy, and I'm going to use their bathroom. I feel bad not buying anything. Should we buy a purple shirt? <laughs> In the old navy, I am scared we're gonna get in trouble. I'm so scared now. Just wait. You can give me the mic. And <laughs> you can sit on the poop rock. It smells like bird poop out here. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. You can't smell that. No, not at all. Really? You have a terrible sense of smell. Goodbye. Hi, chat. No, no, you're right. What? It smells. Yeah, I told you. She said I was right. She could smell the poop. There's no place for me to sit over here. Okay, well, hi, chat. What do we do? What do you guys want to see around here? Do you guys want to see anything? Do you guys want to see the poop even closer? I don't know if you guys saw the poop because I was, I couldn't see the screen. When you record in 4K, when you hit the record button, the display stops working on the camera. So I need to convince Maya to buy a monitor so that way I could still see when we record in 4K and stream it. Is that poop? Yeah, that's a lot of poop. That's bird poop and a bunch of it. It's all over the ground. It's all I could smell. It smells like a chicken pen in here that hasn't been cleaned in a very long time. You didn't ask to see this? Well, I mean, you want to see a lot of birds, don't you? What happens when you have a lot of birds in one place is they defecate. It happens. My crash zooms earlier were rather off the mark. Okay, well, all right, I tried. What do you want from me? Tell Maya to buy a monitor and then that won't happen. You're in the wrong stream if you aren't here for bird poop. I agree. Can you get sick breathing poop in? I'm sure that there is some instances in which that's the case, but I don't know about this poop. 10 out of 10 camera work. I'm, not, I'm just holding it, literally, just because of 
my, I have a phone in the other hand, so I can't do anything. When is Maya going to get you a gimbal? I refuse to use it. Um, they have one. Space likes using it. I think that gimbals for this kind of work is just too bulky, too heavy. You can't like properly whip pan in order to capture action stuff. You can't like get the camera onto small tiny angles such as this one if you want it down here for some reason because the gimbal is going to be too heavy to actually move down there. You can't get the camera to look straight down if you want it to look straight down at a moment's notice. You can't get the camera to look straight up. I think handheld is a lot easier to control the precise movements of the angle of the camera and the stream that I need. Okay. Plus, handheld like instability gives you kind of like the first person feel like you're there. Well, bro, thinking deep, deep. This is my job, dude. It's what I do. I have to think about these things. Gimbal is for panning shots, no? Yeah, gimbals is for like if you want stuff to look semi-cinematic, if you want to like cheat the dolly zoom kind of effect or like a cinematic dolly shot, you would use a gimbal. And yeah, for like nice pans and stuff like that, anything quasi or semi-cinematic. We need a poll on how many times Maya will get pooped on. I'm more worried about how many times I'm gonna get pooped on. Look at the ground here, it's insane. It's just, it's just nothing but poop all over the ground. It's gross. Do I enjoy following Maya around? It's actually really fun. This is like one of my favorite jobs to do. I love it. I love working at Aldea. So if, like, it's, I, I don't have to work at Aldea to make enough money in other places, and I choose to work here. So yes, I do enjoy. She's back. You can take this so I can actually film now. And you can take this so they can stop hearing me. I turned off my microphone. Lame. I don't want them to hear me. Guys? Look. Yeah, they're there for a reason. Did you read it? It says, do not remove for protecting birds. Joe says, this tree will probably have 100,000 martins in it in about 90 minutes. I don't believe you. <laughs> no, I do believe you. But like, what do you mean? I saw that. This tree will have 100,000 birds in it in 90 minutes. Flip, what do you think about that? I don't know if you should be standing under it. <laughs> Let's go find a parking spot. That's not here. Oh, I got bird poop on my foot. Gross. Got it in my sandal. Where are we going? We're gonna park. We're gonna park again? Yeah. Um, for the record, when I went in that store, I picked up two purple shirts and I was gonna buy them, but there was a line to check out and I was like, I don't have time for this and I, then I didn't buy them. Oh, fuck. I'm a role model. Hold. Sorry, guys, I'm moving like 20 yards to park. That's just Pinky Bonky saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> flips, flips good. <laughs> okay, all right. He said to park over here, um, so we're gonna do that. We're Can gonna we park over here. That? Oh, that would be so sick, actually. But definitely no. Okay, let me make sure this is where he said to park. Hold. That's the tree in question. Shut up, Binky Bonky. He said... Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, actually, he said to go right there. We have to go where that red car's going. This is important, okay? Joe sent me a picture, and he circled it where I should park. And I'm going to park exactly where he said to park. Which is right here. Okay, this is where we're parking. Cause this is where Joe said to go. So now our car's gonna get pooped on. Now we're here. Now. You're gonna get that bag for me? 
Yeah, but we're in a car for a bit, so you're fine. Well, I can, like, put it on right now. Okay. It's going to be a little bit. I don't want to, like, be rushing to put it on and then... We have time, dude. It's, it's, we still have, like... What if it takes me an hour to put it on? Ah! <laughs> These are cold. Now we wait. No, we don't wait. Now we engage in the purple party. I wish I had more purple foods. I'm kind of sad. Yeah. Rolling. Welcome to the purple food party. We have grapes, figs, cockies, purple gum, ice cubes, and uh, we each got a grape soda. But this is not a normal grape soda. This is a a new kind of soda. Prebiotics, botanicals, and plant fiber. Plant-powered, microbiome-approved grape soda. So that's what we're drinking. And this bag is for the cameraman so that birds don't poop on his camera. Yay, perfect. <laughs> I don't think I want my soda to have fiber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, great news, everybody. Uh, we're not washing our fruits today, but sometimes it's good for you. So that's what we're doing. Do you want to put it in the middle so they can see you? No. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> Yum. It's not wrong. Ruin the immersion. Okay, roll. There? It's gonna look ugly. It looks fine. You don't even know what it looks like. I see it, actually. Oh, that looks great. It literally looks fine. Okay. Buy a monitor? Flip won't use one. Yeah, well, why not? Hmm? A monitor. It comes off the camera. It puts on. You want That's one? the only way that we can see in 4K and record. Oh, okay. Um, grape test. These are black grapes, but they're the most purple grapes that we could find. Here you go, for you. We have a monitor. I don't like it. It tastes like pesticides. No, it doesn't. It doesn't taste like pesticides, but it doesn't taste good. Yeah, Ashman. Um, okay, the purple grapes, I'm going to go ahead and give a uh, 2 out of 10. I like them. No S-band. This is for you. This is a fig. This is Flip's first time eating a fig. Do you know what they look like? Mm -mm. You want to see? Are you a picky eater? No, right? Nope, not at all, but this looks gross. It's a fig. It's yummy. Here you go. How do you eat it? A whole thing. You just eat the skin too? Yeah. Oh, thanks for touching the food I'm about to eat. You're welcome. Your hands taste great. You're welcome. I just washed them actually. It's actually way better than I thought. He about. likes it! It's not great, but you it's want not another terrible. One? You know, like. <laughs> You know how stink bugs smell? It's kind of how it tastes. Okay, that's slander. <laughs> what? Do you want more of this or not? Sure. Who loves it? Tastes like a stink bug. Yay, purple party. Have you guys had a fig before? Yum, tastes like wasps. Yeah, yeah. Wasp pollinate figs. Oh. Talkies. Hmm? Have you ever had a Fig Newton? Yeah. Those are good. Um, okay. What? Talkies Fuego hot chili pepper and lime artificially flavored tortilla chips. Have you ever had those? No. They're really good. I don't know if I've ever had a talkie, actually. Mm. 
These are really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These ones are good. I can't buy them. They're too addicting. I'll eat like the whole bag. See, I was about to say that Hot Cheetos are better, but I really like these a lot. They're not better. These are the best. Read the nutrition facts. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. They're awful. All right, there's three and a half servings per bag. So when you get Takis, you should wrap the bag up three and a half times every time you take a bit for the serving size. Okay, um, 140 calories per serving, eight grams of fat, 420 milligrams of sodium. Yeah. One gram of sugar, two grams of protein. 420 milligrams of sodium. That's crazy. Yum. They're spicy. 10 grams of protein in that thing. Wait, these are protein chips? There's like 10 grams of protein in this bag. That's not very much. Yeah, it is. That's a lot of protein. It's corn flour, vegetable oil, Seasoning. There you go. I'm sorry that it's so loud to eat those. Okay. Grape soda. I haven't had grape soda in a really long time. I haven't had grape soda. The last one I had was probably like a Fanta. Do they even make those anywhere? 1,260 milligrams of sodium. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. for the bag. Oh my God, I did not think about that. That's why I said I can't buy them because I'll eat the whole bag. Oh my God, that's so bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, grape soda taste test. <clears throat> Wait. I didn't swallow it yet. It doesn't taste like a Fanta. It's really good. It's pretty good. Where's the protein? <laughs> Zero grit. Damn it. Where's the sodium? 45 calories, 35 milligrams of sodium for the whole can. Four grams of sugar for the whole can. That's not bad. That's actually like crazy not bad. Isn't mm -hmm. a Sprite like 50 grams of sugar? Yeah. Whoa. Yeehaw. That's pretty good. Best grape soda is Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Ew. <laughs> sounds... Bit of a red flag statement, I'm afraid. 50 good lord. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I, I would guess that a Sprite has 48 grams of sugar in it. That is what I remember from Sprite. I haven't had a Sprite in a long time, though. Someone look it up. Did they discontinue 7-Up? Mm-hmm. I now think it's so. Starry. Hmm? Now it's Starry. I don't know what that is. It's a new 7-Up, I think. Dude, these are so good. I know it wasn't a Sprite that got discontinued. 44! Dang it. No, this is my cameraman. No videographer. Sierra Mist. Sierra Mist got discontinued? There's no way. Sierra Mist was way bigger than 7-Up. That's crazy. I said it's Sierra Mist. Yeah, so I'm surprised you haven't had these before. Because I knew you'd like them. They're really good. Yeah, I do really like them. I love Hot Cheetos. Mm-hmm. Huge Hot Cheeto fan. They're birds, but I can't tell what kind. I don't think they're purple martins. Guys, in T minus 30 minutes, can you record? Or is it recording? Still rolling. 
Does it look good? Yeah, it looks fine. Okay. In 30 minutes, you guys, we are going to see 100,000 at least, if not more, Purple Martins come hang out at this tree. Purple Martins, North America's largest swallow. It is a songbird. They're called Purple Martins because they're not really, okay, not to be a hater, but they're not really that purple. They're like, <laughs> they're kind of, okay, so like this is the, this is the male and this is a female. So they're kind of like blue more, or the males are like more blue. Um, anyway, there's a, there's a roost here and, um, they're here until the end of summer and then they migrate. They're long distance migrators. They migrate to the Amazon in Brazil. They call them blue. Oh, interesting. So we're just dumb. At the end of summer, they migrate to the Amazon. That's like over 3000 miles, maybe over 4,000 miles. Depends where they're coming from, I guess, but that's crazy far. <laughs> and all the birds go there when it's winter because they are aerial insectivores, which means that they eat things that are, they eat flying insects. So they're going to all be in the sky eating all the insects in the sky, the flying insects. But then when winter comes, the bugs are either dormant or they're dead. So they have to go somewhere where there are lots of bugs so they can keep feeding themselves and they're young. Um, so they breed here in North America and then they migrate for overwintering in the Amazon. They do make a stop on the way to the Amazon uh, at the Yucatan, in Yucatan. Um, but look, this is their migration. Check this out. All the purple in the US, that's where they are now. And then they migrate to the purple down here. Crazy, right? This is actual trackers that uh, Purple Martin Conservation Association put on them. See those little like rainbow sprinkle dots? That's them. Wait, this is them in the winter. Crazy. Crazy. Um, this is all the Purple Martin roosts in the US. Over 300. Also crazy. Um, so yeah. That's what we're here for, is we're here to see these birds before they, before they go. You didn't see anything? Oh. Really? That's tragic. What did you see? Did you see anything? Didn't see a thing? Just put it on screen. Space, you can put it on screen. If you, you want to put that map on screen with the purple? Um, so they can see where they migrate? Last three pictures we can see, sorry. So, yeah, another really interesting thing about purple martins that you guys are not going to believe when they're in these trees. Uh, they, their population has decreased from 10 million to 6.5 million in the last 50 years. One of the reasons their population has decreased so much is because they're secondary cavity nesters. Do you guys know what that means? Anybody. Thank you for the gifted subs. No, they use the other hole, right? So um, they use nests other birds make. They don't build their own nests. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, they nest in cavities, but they don't make their own cavities like a woodpecker or something. Uh, they live in like cliffs or nests made by other birds or cavities made by other birds. So that's fine until the Europeans brought over European house sparrows, European starlings, which are invasive species here that are also secondary cavity nesters, and they take up the space that the purple martins would otherwise occupy. So a long time ago, like thousands of years ago, the Native Americans started giving, emptying gourds and hanging them up for purple martins to nest in. And since then, purple martins have been reliant on humans to give them... Uh, housing. That's where they live, is in these nests that people put up, um, these colonies that people put up. We have one at, Al at Alveus, that giant, like, steel um, post with the white plastic gourds. That's for purple martins. Um, so, all the birds that you're going to see today came from people's houses. Yeah, that's not the only reason their numbers have decreased, also deforestation, um, and probably... What's habitat loss, same thing. Climate change, maybe. I don't know about that one. You'd have to ask Joe for that one. 
but uh, yeah, uh, we have not had purple martins at our at our nest, no, which is really sad. Pesticides and climate change. Thank you. Um, probably domestic cats too. Yeah. So yeah, um, they're very much reliant on these people that that put up the colonies, um, and. It's kind of a crazy relationship, uh, a crazy conservation story too, with like unprecedented amounts of human intervention to keep a species going, but like very successful because all the birds that you're gonna see today came from people's houses. It is like remarkable um, how much people have done for these birds. So that being said, Purple Martin Conservation Association in chat, Joe is in chat. Um, you guys can go check them out. They have a Twitch channel. Um, so you can watch Purple Martins hatching out. Um, the roost is so big this year because it was a good year for reproduction, and the birds that start the colony at Alveus will be in this flock. That is sick. That's so cool. Um, so, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. He said, without people, the entire eastern population, which is 99% of all Martins, would become extinct. It may be the best example of humans actively and completely saving a species. Crazy stuff. I think that's the gist. Joe, did I miss anything? Thank you, Space. That's their migration. The, the purple uh, in the U.S. and then the purple down to the Amazon. That's where they go. Save them. They're very cute. Very cool. Was that cool. almost all of your talking points? Uh-huh. Like, period? Mm-hmm. I would repeat a couple of those when you're standing in front of them. Okay. Just to like have stuff to roll. Like we did with the whale one, where you just mm -hmm. like spit facts in front of the whale. Mm -hmm. Same stuff. So. If you guys have questions, you can ask them in chat. Either I'll answer them or Joe will. Oh, use those one space. Thank you. Yeah, those are actual trackers. Do you think that they're not allowed to trim that tree? So it looks rather unkempt and unruly comparative to other trees around, right? I don't know that they're like... You made a drop recording. Actual protections for that tree. But I think a lot of people would be very mad. You made a drop recording. Mm -hmm. Well, it just looks like they haven't even like trimmed it at all. Like if you look at the other trees around it, they look like... Do they frequent stops or is it mostly one long flight? Um, I think it's mostly one long flight. They stop for a month in the Yucatan. You can't see it. How's it look? How's Joe? Um. <laughs> it's zoomed in. It's zoomed in. Still zoomed in. Daily flights, sleeping at night, month-long break in the Yucatan. Um, it's still, I mean, it's more than it was before, but what? it's fine. I don't know. Oh, no, it's, it's good now. Sorry. No? Okay. Okay. Um, what's the difference between nesting and roosting? So these ones uh, that we're going to see today. Welsh underscore gifted a tier one sub to cute. They Thank have you. Given 735 gift subs in the channel. These ones that we're gonna. <laughs> Thank you. The ones that we're gonna see today have. Uh... They're the fledglings from this year. So he thinks two thirds of the flock are birds that just learned to fly. Nesting is like when they're sitting on nests and hatching out baby birds. How long do they live? How long do they live? Shannon, thank you for the prime. Are we starting to get some yeah. action here? I think we are. Yeah. On These ones, those ones? Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Ex 
exciting. Only 25% of the young survive in their first year. Yeah, bird survival rates in the first year are like remarkably low. How long do they live, Joe? What's their lifespan? I don't think you're gonna need that for a little bit. It's, I mean, look at the, show them the sky right now. Look at the sky. Guys, I just like, I I feel like there's no way he's gonna need a garbage bag right now, you know, like. You don't know. I mean, yeah, but like, what if we end up needing it and then I have to like struggle to put it on all quickly and. Surely you won't need it. Little flocks going back and forth are grackles and starlings. The martins will start swirling up high and in small numbers at first. Four to five years old. Thank you. They live four to five years. Which means they make this trip like four to five times in their lifetime. I guess. Right. Space, can you link people that are interested? If you go to Purple Martin's YouTube and then they're most popular, can you link them the video of that travel path? I think it's so interesting to think about how they know where to go. It. They took trackers that were on actual birds and then put it on like a flight sim travel path. And it's like a six minute long video of just how they get to the Amazon. It's crazy to think about. I don't understand how they get there. Something about magnetic fields, Joe would know a lot more than this. Honestly, he should be here to teach you guys because it's crazy. Um, I've learned a lot about magnetic fields in the past couple days, but not enough to teach you. So. Bird law. Who mentioned bird law? Thanks, Sophie. I don't know, someone. Bird law is very important. Do you know anything about bird law? No. You gotta study up. Why? It's important. You're out here teaching about birds and you don't know anything about bird law. Oh. A molecule in the retina retains... Retinas that normally sees blue colors reacts to magnetic fields, so when they look at the blue sky, they will see the lines of Earth's magnetic field. I cannot wrap my head around that at all. But I'll take it. Should we sit on my car? You want to? Yeah. Okay. I'm only bringing, I'm not bringing the talkies. I will not. I'm what? bringing the soda, well, and that is it, because I, it's bad for you. They are bad for you, but they're so good. <laughs> All right, guys, we're sitting on top of the car. <gasps> <laughs> what are you talking about? Binky bonky. It's nice and dusty up here. I'm gonna sit up here, up here. Up here, up here? Yeah. You're gonna fall off. No, I'm not. Dangerous. It's a little dusty, but that's okay. Do you think people think we're crazy burgers? Yeah. Oh. They also make a mental image of where they are when they first begin their migration to recognize the way home. What do you mean? They have a photographic memory? Following roads and rivers? What? What do you mean? Welcome to the tailgate, everybody. I love football. Do you want to roll? You want to film? T minus 20 minutes until we see birds. We've climbed up to the top of the car to tailgate. People are looking, but they have no idea what's about to happen. I'm about to get pooped on. I have my great soda. My great soda. It's so good. It's so, so great. Um, yeah, we're just waiting. We have 20 minutes to go before they start showing up. And then they'll be here for an hour. Do you think this is a good spot to get pooped on? Okay. 
He said more people will show up to see the birds. Sick. He said, yes, yeah, a good spot to get pooped on. Yo, wait, what's happening? We're waiting for Purple Martins. That's what's happening. Are there from behind that dog? Yeah, <laughs> imagine. Do you think this Bed Bath & Beyond is closing because they're so overwhelmed by the amount of Purple Martins? Bryce is right, thank you. Poop on Maya's hair already? No, there's not. We also brought the shot. oh, it's right there. We brought the shotgun mic because Joe said it gets pretty loud and I want you guys to be able to hear it if it gets loud. Also, can we get some drakes in chat for there being signal here? Because it was a total toss up. We had no idea if there would be. And this would have been a total bus if there was not signal. So pretty sick that we're streaming right now. Is that a grackle? Did you hear that? No. I have laughs. Stream exists. Is that a giant bruise on your thigh? Yeah. Beetle, um, I gave, I was giving the babies grain yesterday and then Beetle ran over and tried to like fling Peewee McNugget with her horns and Peewee was in between my legs. So she, <laughs> Got me. It happens. Are we birding? Yep. Yeah, oatmeal was being terrible yesterday. You can walk over closer to zoom on the branches after they land. It's crazy to see how densely they bunch up. We can get closer in a bit. We can get closer in a bit. So you see them on the branches before they really like start going up. Can you believe there's gonna be 100,000 birds here in like a matter of minutes? That feels so not right. Is this a prank? Joe, is this a prank? What do they eat here? I don't see anything for them to eat. Why do they come here? They're in the sky. They eat bugs in the sky. Everywhere. I don't see them, but we can't see them. Okay. Wouldn't you think that there'd be more bugs somewhere else? Uh, I don't know, maybe, but they don't eat bugs on the ground very much. They eat flying insects. I if you go into a forest, there's so many bugs. These are uh, morning doves. How can 100K fit in a tree? I don't know, you guys wanna go find out? Should we sit under the tree and wait? Yeah, all right, so. Well, we want a wide shot of all of it. Well, we'll sit in the tree until some come, we'll get some close ups and then we'll come back. Time to get pooped on. Can't wait. <sighs> I'm just grabbing my cute. Hi. Thank you for the sub, Forrest. Guys, I feel so bad for the people that are parking there. <laughs> like, should we tell them, hey, there's gonna be 100,000 birds here in a minute. You might wanna move your car. <laughs> uh, they leave the roost before sunrise and go every direction up to 100 miles away, flying and eating all day. Then they turn around and head back to sleep in these trees. Wow. No umbrella, better content? Okay. 
We're getting pretty close, you guys. It's it's 746. That would be annoying if you didn't know, yeah, and came out after shopping. Like, these cars are big time fricked. Hello? Birdies? Should we take a seat in the grass? <laughs> can we walk to the garbage can real quick? Yeah. So I can throw this away. Mm -hmm. Field trip to the garbage can. So Flip can throw his soda away. I was told we were going to medieval times. You always. When does the red knight come out? We'll go to medieval times sometime, buddy. Is this a rare event? No, it happens every year. But it's the first time y'all are seeing it, so it's rare for you. Does it smell bad? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It smells like a chicken. Joe, is this messed up? Or no, is the Audubon do that so that they don't fly into the windows? Who's that? Is that one? There are 300 roosts in North America. It only occurs for around a month after the local nesting is hatched. Didn't you do a stream like this a few years back? Yes, but I used, um, I used a phone and the signal sucked so you couldn't see anything. It's only one bird and he's gone now. You missed it. <laughs> I saw a dove in the tree. Only a dove. That is all. They canceled the meetup. What is an Audubon? Oh yeah, EU people. Audubon is a it's a society for bird conservation and bird research. Um, there are a bunch of Audubon societies in the U.S. It's like a bird club for bird nerds. It's where we race? No, no, not the highway. See that over there? It's not a purple Martin. <laughs> That's a great tailed grackle, Texas native. Those are bigger. We're looking for something smaller. Oh, t -Pain. <laughs> Sherman! Thank you! There's a bird in the tree. Right there. See that bird in the tree chat? That's not one. That's a morning dove. Sherman, thank you so much. Um, yeah, weather's hot as shit, but I'm doing good. You don't see it? It's a little brown bird, it's a dove. I think I just saw one above us. You wanna go National Geographic, that grackle? Sometimes in Texas, you can call them great-tailed grackles and you can also call them Walmart crackheads. Crack birds because they hang out in the Walmart parking lot and they uh, look like, they look a little disheveled sometimes. Hi buddy. This is a male great-tailed grackle. Welcome to National Geographic. He's running away. <laughs> he doesn't, no cameras please. He doesn't want to be filmed. It's gonna be so hard for you to track, but there are birds, like I've seen two now, that are up there, but I haven't told you to film it because there's like no point because they're fast. But he also said they're all just gonna land here, so. Check out this tree. Look at, the, look at the branches of this tree at the top. You know how he said this tree looks disheveled? The amount of weight that it would take from a songbird that's gotta be like 
a number of grams, right? Like a light little tiny bird to crack all those branches and make that tree look like that is crazy. That's a dove. Can I see that? They're 50 grams each. That's actually more than I thought. They're chunky. I thought it was like 20. I'm dumb. Is that them? Yeah. Up there. Well, just for one, yeah. Maybe. Chat, I'm about to National Geographic you look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he took it back. <laughs> Did you see them? Okay, there's no way you can see that. Oh, do you see those up there? Do you see them? <laughs> those are, that's them. Don't worry, they'll get closer. <laughs> we need the, we need a crazy lens for those ones. There were two up there. You're seeing things? No. You're just in a freaking camera and you're not here. Over there? Those are birds, those are birds. It's hard for me to tell from here what's a martin and what's not. That's a dove. That I think is a martin. Those might be martins, I can't tell. I'm gonna take a selfie with this tree, don't look at me. That goes for you and chat. Also, I don't want to get, dude, I'm going to get hit by a car. <laughs> As I'm like walking on the road, I'm annoyed that they're going to hit me. This picture is bad. I have to go again. Okay, I did it again. I feel like I'm watching David Attenborough. No, you don't. <laughs> don't lie. Now I have to take a picture of poop to show them I'm serious. Should we tell this guy he's got to move? <laughs> he's just like sitting in his car. I want to take a picture of the fire hydrant. Proof. <laughs> disturb them from landing in this tree. Proof. The grack was chatty. I sent the reply. Sorry guys, I'm tweeting. I'm advertising. It's important work. Kind of fucked up you didn't wear purple. It really is fucked up. How do birds know when to migrate? Joe? I think there's a lot of things that go into when birds know when to migrate. It has to do with the weather um, and the food sources, what's available to them. They know when they have to move. Thank you. Thank you. Day length is a big part of it. That's interesting. I like him. (laughs) 
Maya reminds me of that one white monotone girl who interviews rappers. Is it because I have, is it the dead eyes? People say I'm like Aubrey Plaza too. I think it's just the way that I talk. Trevor Martin. They're flyging. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> They're coming. Chad, did you see that? They are coming. I see them. Are you filming right now? Now I am, but I have no idea what we're looking at. It's fine. The birds are coming. It's happening. We're waiting for them to land in these trees. Is that one right there? No, it's a dove. We're waiting for them to land in these trees, and then they're all going to go into the sky and and eat bugs. I am going to switch to 1080. OK. So I can see what's going on. Dude, Joe is building this up so hard. I cannot ima imagine putting so much on wild birds that I have no control of. What if this is a prank, chat? Joe's like, it's going to be crazy, and there's like five birds that show up. We will go back to the parking spot, yes. I want you guys to see close-ups of the actual birds so you know what's in the sky. They're here. Trouble Martin. Dove. Dove. Purple Martin. Yeah, we're just rolling now and I can see so we're about to go. Oh cool. It's just Connor in his bird costume. <laughs> Is that a starling? I think that was a starling. Would you like to give a quick update and be like, so we're any moment now they're gonna I just said that. Did you? On yeah. I don't remember. Didn't see. Any moment now. They're going to land in these trees. We're waiting at these trees to see them. I already said that. Did you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Trust me, chat. <laughs> no, just wait. They're coming, I swear. Purple Martin. One day, you'll see it. One day, you'll see one. There's one coming this way. You can see their little forked tail. It's so cute. This grackle is just standing here screaming for no reason. He's not screaming. He's chirping at nothing. Did you see it? Zoom. They're fast. They fly fast. Joe, do you know how fast they can go? In the air? Oh, they're flying around, zipping around. They seem quick. Beep, 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 beep. Purple horns, purple horn, purple horn. I stepped on a razor. Purple horn, purple horn. Forty miles an hour. They can go forty miles an hour. That's crazy. Purple Martin, Purple Martin, Purple Martin. It's happening. <clears throat> Those aren't Purple Martins, actually. But it was a lot of birds. <gasps> There's a dragonfly. He's dead. He has no idea what's coming. What a terrible spot to be for a dragonfly right now. There are, okay, it's actually kind of, dude, look. Do you see them all over there? There's like so, they're like specks in the sky, but they're just, the longer you look at the sky, the more you see them. They're so high up. Joe, how high do they go? They're just like appearing out of nothing because they're so high. The sky, UFOs or what? Purple Martins, birds. Oh, birds. Birds, just birds. 
Who cares? <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <laughs> They're just showing up everywhere. It's like it's like when you look at a blanket too close or something that has bugs on it and they just all of a sudden they're everywhere. It's like that. Oh my God. It's happening. Why are you backing up? <laughs> you scared? <laughs> like every direction. Oh my God, Flip. Chat, they're here. That dragonfly is dead. He's so dead. Poor guy. It's happening. It's happening. Oh my god. No. Look at them all. They're here. No, don't park there. Trust. Don't do it. He's doing it. Look at them. Oh my god. <gasps> Hello? Oh my god, they're so close. There's another dragonfly. <laughs> He's dead. There's a plastic bag in the sky. That sucks. To the truck, you think? I kind of want to see them roost. Should we go to the truck? No. Okay. If you want to. Maybe when more show up, we can come back to the trees and see if they're sitting in the trees. You will head over after they land at dark. Okay. So we're gonna watch them fly around and then and then we'll go back to the tree and see if we can see them in the tree. Folks, you might not want to park there. Oh, you live and learn where the purple martin roost is in late summer. Jenna one eight two two six three for three months. I'm getting up there. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so sick. I'm so excited. Ugh. Thank you for the thank you for the six months. This is the biggest day of the year for car wash companies. You're right. Jenna one eight two two six three for three months. Thank you for the, thank you for the sub, thank you for the sub. So every morning they all leave and they go hundreds of miles every direction from this tree. And then somehow every night at eight o'clock, they all come back to the same trees. How is it possible? If you asked me to go like three miles any direction, I would get lost without a GPS. They have little watches maybe. Oh, you think so? So many take off in the morning that it shows up like a weather radar, on the weather radar, like a storm. That's crazy. Yeah, we should do the bat bridge too. I've seen the bats downtown. They like Bed Bath & Beyond. Why are you at a strip mall? This is where the birds are. Dude, the people, these people came here to watch the birds and they just parked under the tree. I don't think that's me being a conservationist. I think that's like common sense. Dude, Joe is building this up. They're fighting. 
in the tree. That's a dove. Oh my God. Where'd they all come from? They're appearing out of nowhere. I really, I don't know how to describe it to you. It really is crazy. Just like, if you look at the sky for long enough, they just pop out of nowhere because they're coming from so high up. Like you, it's like a little star. Like you can't see them and then they get close enough to where it's just a speck, but they just, there's so many of them. Like so high up. They are pretty big. That was a big bird. Huh. Are those starlings? No! Match. They're purple martins. Starlings are invasive. These are native birds. There's drama. A bunch coming this way. <laughs> we. Hello. Fake. A CGI. You can see them on radar right now. First of all, no, you can't. Second of all, don't leak where I am. <laughs> no, you cannot. Joe wanted me to tell you that it's gonna get easier. What you what? It's gonna get easier to film. Joe wanted me to tell you that. I mean, literally, if I point the camera in a direction and zoom in. <laughs> you can see them? Can I see what it looks like? So if you want... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, you can see birds. Mm -hmm. Cool. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god. Yeah, there's a lot. There's like bugs. Like, look over there. There's so many. Chat, do you see the, like, the bug effect that I'm talking about? Can you see it on camera? They just keep appearing. So what are they doing? They're aerial insectivores, they eat flying insects. So they're flying around, munching away before they go to sleep in their trees at night. Incoming poop in three, two, one. You guys can, you know, you can make your bets, but I don't think I'm getting poop on. I feel fine right now. Are they invasive? No, they're native. Are they purple or pink? They're blue. <laughs> Welcome to the purple party. I'll just dodge the poop. Holy shit. Because <laughs> they like it. I don't know if you hear that, like, the really high pitch screaming. Are they landing in these trees? I think they are. Yeah. Unless those aren't Martins, I can't tell. To stop by what's happening. We are at a purple martin roost. We're waiting to see a bunch of birds in the sky. There are already quite a few birds in the sky, um, but supposedly it's gonna get crazy. We're looking for like 
right now it's like, I don't know, like hundreds of birds. We're looking for hundreds of thousands of birds. Okay, well, there's a bunch of birds. Oh my God, okay. Hello. Sorry, the, the high pitch sound, um, it's not happening right now, but those are grackles. I can't remake the sound with my mouth because uh, it won't sound like a grackle. They just did it, actually. We don't know why this specific parking lot or those specific trees, but the parking lot with a couple trees in it resembles a large body of water with a few trees in it that would, they would naturally roost in. They like islands because less predators, because less land. Oh my God, they're so fast. They're so fast. They said you're killing it. Oh yeah. They like it up there. Purple bird. Purple birdie. Birdie. Hello. So fast. So fast. racing pigeons. They're not pigeons. They're swallows. It's so crazy just like looking up and seeing how high they are. There's so, oh my God, there's so many. It looks like fleas. There's so many. It looks like the sky's moving. Chat, the sky's moving. You ever seen Chicken Little? Yeah. Thank you. Tweet, 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 tweet. Chat, how many of you think that they're not real? Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> One. Drones. Leaves. UFOs. What's the deal with the UFO thing? Do you guys know? Because I only heard about it. Wasn't there a hearing? Is it today? Yeah. Congressional hearing or something like that. What? What happened? Oh, 
Okay. Is that it? Is that a surprise? They disclosed that the government has bodies. They disclosed that the government has bodies. What, like? Oh, like, like, living bodies? I don't know about living. They got spooked. Oh, that motorcycle. Those aren't Martins. <gasps> Those were all, I think these are all Starlings. Really? Yeah. They disclosed that one guy thinks they have bodies. <laughs> it was a testimony, no evidence. That is true. That is exactly what happened. This guy's kind of killing my bird washing vibe right now. If I'm being honest. He can't provide any evidence unless it's, what? People lie in front of Congress all the time. What's that watchtower thing? I, it's like for police. I don't actually know. I don't know why it's there. Oh, it's for us to climb. Thank you for the 27 months. Um, hot take, I don't know. I just don't really care. <laughs> about the whole UFO thing, or about the alien thing. Like, unless there's an alien breaking into my home or like fucking with my shit, I just don't really care. <laughs> That's how I feel. That guy was very high up in the ranks. He risked his career. An anonymous mm. user gifted a tier one sub to alien. Birds. Thank you for the 20 months. She said, what are you guys waiting for? We said birds. That guy didn't risk anything. No, he didn't. Oh, no, his career. Wow, there's drama. <laughs> you guys have opinions on this, huh? You feel strongly about it? He was high on drugs. I need evidence. He's not sane. How can they all be named Martin? See, that's an excellent question. Um, actually, it's really not. It's a really bad, bad question. You got an L take. That's the only opinion I got. Unfortunately, I don't really care about your opinion if you say that mine is an L take. Wow! Birds. Hassan wants to have sex with the aliens. Thoughts? I bet he does. Wow. They need to come closer. Typical Hassan, typical, typical. You should get a camera that can see stars and do a stargazing stream. Isn't it not about the camera, it's about the exposure? Like how would we... It depends on how much of the star you want to see. Woo! If you want to see a bunch of stars, you just leave the exposure open for a very long time. How? see individual stars, you need the telescope. Is this a hidden stream to look for aliens saying you're out bird watching? Sure. I mean, it's whatever you want it to be. Do Martins have a favorite bug to eat? Um, 
I think they're like dragonflies. I don't think they eat that many mosquitoes. These larger flying insects, holy shit. <laughs> no, not the dragonflies. I've seen two dragonflies today um, and it's not looking good for them. That's all I have to say. They're dead. Oh, there's another one. That's a dragonfly. He's dead. He's huge. It's like the size of a bird. It's a big dragonfly. Oh no, the coughs? What? Just because of the cough tower? Imagine they're like, hey, you're not allowed to film. <laughs> there's a sign on the door. That was a bird? No, that was a dragonfly. Did you see it? Can't film art. Is there a cop in there? I actually have not considered that yet. I don't think so, but it's tinted, so you wouldn't know. There could be. There could be. Should I wave? Are all the people there twitchers? Well, first of all, don't call us that. I think you mean streamers. But second, no, I think we're the only people streaming. Those people are taking pictures and they're like hanging out with their kids. Throw a rock at the tower? No. I, no, I won't do that. I flip, did I show you the video? I think it's gonna get much crazier than this. We still have a lot of time until the sun sets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of birds. They're migrating right now, or they're going to migrate. So this is the end of them being here. <laughs> well articulated Maya. Shout out to me for that education. Holy shit. Yay, birdies. <laughs> Plus two live viewers. Wow, cool. So is this spot planned or random? What do you mean? We plan to come here? Thank you for the Make two months. The ocean off the coast of Florida is the temperature of a hot tub. That's scary. Is it really? Wow, birdies. So far we have not been pooped on. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. What? Over there? Giant dragonfly. Oh, sick. <laughs> sick. Oh, he's dead. So we're stream sniping these birds chill spot? Yes. Oh what? Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you for the five. Holy. Jericho, thank you so much for the five. That's a lot of birds. That's a lot of birds. No, they're over there. <laughs> wee -woo, wee -woo. Big Mac, large, huge. Thank you for the 50 points. <laughs> Guys, it hasn't even peaked yet. This is not peak. It looks like a swarm of gnats. It does. It looks like gnats. Joe, they ever run into each other? I know it's kind of a dumb question, but I, I do want to know the answer. Like, no, right? A 
was too anxious to go to the gym tonight, so now we're watching birds. Actually, yes, we did some slow-mo. They do bump a bit. Really? <laughs> That's funny. Holy shit. You know, I never think about how... Uh, I don't know how to say it without sounding stupid. I never think about how tall the sky is. There, I said it. Because <laughs> you always kind of think of it as, like, the sky, but, like, the layers of birds in between me and, like, the, the tallest, the highest bird I can see is crazy. Or just don't listen to me, you know. I'm just here. I'm hosting. Those two birds fought a little bit. That was interesting. Is she high or what? No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's so many. Oh, my God. There's so many. They're flying so fast. Thank you. Celeron, thank you. Ivy, thank you. Oh my god, Flip. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Where are they right above us? They're gonna poop on us. Yeah, me too. Some people are asking why there are so many birds here, blah, 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 blah. So um, we're looking at, these are all purple martins in the sky. It is a native bird um, here. It is North America's largest swallow. Um, they are roosting here until the end of the summer, and then they are migrating to the Amazon uh, over winter. They're flying right now because they're aerial insectivores. They eat bugs out of the sky. And so they fly around up to 100 miles a day, eat bugs, and then they all roost in a tree together. And then uh, when winter comes, because they need to eat bugs and the bugs go dormant or die here, they go to the Amazon. And then they come back. It is like a 3,000 plus 3,000, 4,000 mile trip. Something like that, a long trip. All of these birds that you're seeing right now in the sky. Um, hi there. Are these bats or birds? Birds. Are these the purple martins? Purple martins. Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah, were they? Uh -huh. They come here every year, they're migrating. They <laughs> Yes. And you know how much longer they'll be Just a couple more weeks here. And then they go to the Amazon. Right, they do. I remember that. Thank you. Of course. What's all the purple starlings? Purple martins. Martins, okay. Thank you. Um, all the birds that you see in the sky right now, all were hatched and came from somebody who put up a purple martin nest. All of these birds are dependent on artificial nesting, nesting sites that are put up by people, bird houses, especially for this species of bird. Because they're secondary cavity nesters, they like nesting in cavities, and invasive bird species like starlings and house sparrows take their cavities, and deforestation and climate change um, have made it really hard for them to survive, and so now they're dependent on people uh, for survival. 99% of their population would be gone without people, actually. Uh, it is people that have kept these birds alive. They go to the Amazon? They do, they go to the Amazon. How loud are they? We can definitely hear them now. If you guys want to switch to the shotgun mic to see if you can hear it, I'm down. Sorry if that peaked your ears.
birds came from purple martin houses like the one we have at all this like in people's backyards what the heck if you want to say a couple things this is a pretty good show yeah you filming there's a lot of birds there's a ton of birds um did you oh my god wait one second We're back in my mic. Hello. Uh, we're looking at a lot of birds right now. Somehow, I have not been pooped on yet. Um, I was just saying, it's crazy to think that all of these birds came from nests that people have put up in their backyards. That they rely on artificial nesting from people. We have a colony that we set up at Alves. We haven't gotten purple martins yet, but hopefully next year. Um, all of these birds are, are the results of people putting up nests for them. They, they would not this species would not exist without people, uh, which is crazy to think about. And really cool to think about as a conservationist, you know? It's, it's one of those like inspiring species um, of like, people are really ruining the world, but also can do this. <laughs> like what the heck? It is a thing. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. They're birds. They're purple martins. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, it's a swallow. Oh, and is it like a, a yearly thing? Yearly, yeah. They migrate and then they stay here until the end of the summer and then they go to the Amazon and come back. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of them. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, thank you for sharing. Of course, of course. Flip, I have big news. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> uh, cool. Wow! So many! Yeah, guys, I said birds because apparently some people think that they're bats. I just wanted to, like, say they're birds first. Um, <laughs> get shit on. <laughs> Put that in the YouTube video after the inspiring clip. <laughs> no, I'm gonna grab a napkin. Hold on. Are we on? I'm grabbing a napkin in the truck. What? They're all flying into the tree. <laughs> oh my god, they are. There are so many. I locked us out? I'm kidding, I didn't. Do you want the, uh, do you want the umbrella? Do you want to like try to stick it in your backpack? Yeah. Like it would have already happened. No, I agree. One or two poops is okay. I thought he we feels fine about it. <laughs> it can't be worse than the monkey pee. Oh, they pee on you all the time. Look at all of them landing in the tree. That's what we were waiting for at that tree over there. Look at all those chickens. Should we recreate it? <laughs> Look at all those chickens. Wow, that's a lot of birds. Inspiring. Actually, the way they're landing on that tree is crazy. Do you wanna go, do you wanna walk over there? Dude, <laughs> they're all, wait, they're all going to the tree. They're like, okay, it's time. It's 8.37, so it's not really time. But it's time for some of them. They're all just flying over us going to the tree. That is crazy. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> this feels so not real. It feels so like CGI. Oh, they left the tree. It's not time. It's not time. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, the way they split, that's crazy. They're leaving the tree. It's not time. 
They're coming. <laughs> Chat run. Poop time. Oh my God. You're looking at not even half, like not even close to half of what's in the sky. Over here, like behind us, above us, and the layers that it goes up, they get so tiny you can't even see them because they're so high up. There are so many fucking birds here. It's mind boggling. You can see like the layers on the camera. Oh, really? That's you sick. Can see the ones super high up and the ones going super fast past the It's time. <laughs> it's not time. They're leaving. <laughs> Look at them bending the tree. <laughs> There's too many. They're gonna break the tree. All 50 grams of them. Do they eat mosquitoes? Uh, some, not a lot. Uh, I think they like dragonflies and butterflies and other larger flying insects more. Oh my God. I know, I hear it too. It's crazy, it's like a minefield, I'm scared. I'm scared to look up. <laughs> You're gonna get really unlucky. That's a lot of birds. That's a lot of birds. <laughs> Joe just messaged me, told you. Yeah, Joe, I was, I was joking. I knew there would be this many birds. I don't know how to take a picture that does it justice. I feel like you can't. I feel like not even the video does it justice. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Have you seen Silent Hill? Like, no. That looks like just ash. No, I haven't. Falling. That's crazy. Oh, people wow. Alexa underscore play underscore Rick underscore Ashley was up for two months. Why did they choose this tree in a parking lot instead of a forest somewhere? The theory is that the tree is similar to an island. A couple trees in a big parking lot is similar to trees in a body of water. And so there's a lower chance for predation uh, because there's less land underneath them. It's obvious, look at them in that tree. It's obviously not the case uh, because it's, it is land, but that's the theory. They like islands. You wanna walk over there? <laughs> yeah, let's walk over there. Quarter is up for three months. Thank you for the three months. Dude, the sound over there is crazy. It's so loud. Oh my god. Okay, you wanna film? Guys, we're gonna go up to this tree where they're roosting just to see some of them in the tree itself. Uh, they're all landing. They will all land once it gets dark. It's not dark yet, so they're still flying around, but a lot of them have decided to land already, and it's a lot of birds. Can you see that? Dude, oh, walking over here with no umbrella is insane. Okay, look look up. It is insane that we're not getting shit on right now. Can we just like acknowledge that? that is, the, <laughs> this is some risky business, people. This is some risky business. Okay, we're close enough to the tree where you can see it. Um, I'm risking my life right now and my uh, freshly washed hair for this video. Uh, that's a lot of birds though. Look at that, they're so cute. You want to switch it to the road mic? Switch.
Oh, I hear him dropping sound. all around us. Look up, dude. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, why have you not gotten anything? I've gotten put on twice now. <laughs> <laughs> tragedy. A tragedy is struck. Tragedy number two. I just heard another one right there. I just missed this one. Just missed it. You shot my feet to fire. <laughs> you forced me to. You literally pointed it out with your nasty toe. One Did you guys see them in the tree? Did you see all their you didn't see their little face though? Look, you gotta get close, you gotta get Oh yeah. You just want me to get pooped on. right where you were sitting too. Yeah, dude, I was laying. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. They're right on us. I wasn't talking to you guys. I was talking to this couple next to me. I gave him a napkin. He got pooped on. <laughs> it's too loud for the shotgun, they said. Interesting. It's too loud? Yeah, that's what they said. I guess. I have to be like right in front of it for them to hear me. Ooh, make a clip for Daily Dose. I can't. Thank you for the ten. Thank you so much for the ten. 
Wow. Wow, 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 wow. They come. Um, go to purplemartin.org if you want to find out where they are. They have some uh, good resources on there on how to locate them. Oh my god. <laughs> Split. That was crazy. Thanks, Shrez. Thank you for the sub. Why are they here? Um, they are here until they migrate at the end of the summer. Then they go to the Amazon. So they're just stopping by. Thank you. Also, guys, check out um, Purple Martin Conservation Association on Twitch. They have live cams. Thank you. We didn't have to travel far. These guys are pretty close to us. Birds. See, they, people ask if they're birds. That's what I said. It's okay. I'm so bad at that. I can't do that with like M&Ms in a jar. I have no fucking idea. Joe said 100,000, I say 100,000. That's awesome, thank you so much. They're out of the air. They're like going to the street. Should we get to the tree? Oh, never mind. <laughs> They're not out of the air. You wanna go to the tree? I think we'll be safer this time. the napkins. That guy was like so polite about me giving him a napkin. Like it was a Dunkin' Donuts napkin in my center console. And he's like, you are so kind. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. And then he just gave his napkin to that other guy that got pooped on. And he's like, this kind lady gave this to me. <laughs> It's so hard to see them. And I don't want to like actually disturb them, but like 
you have to believe me when I say that it is like, I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> Here, maybe this tree. The entire, oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh no. I don't know if I did that or not. Okay, we're not gonna get that close to the tree. Like, look at the top of that tree. Can you tell how many are in there? Oh my god, you can. Yes. Do you share the video if I give you my number? What's that? Do you share the video? It's live streaming right now. Um, I can, I can send it to you. Yeah, I can send it to you. Okay, do you want to put your, your number in there? Uh, okay. Oh, um, sorry. Type the number? Okay, you can ah. type it here. I will just put here, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank I'll you. send it to you. Look at this brand. Oh my god, look at the little head. Guys, it, he's a father walking around with his kids. Relax. <laughs> He wants the footage of the birds. Did you guys misinterpret that interaction completely? Did you hear that interaction? It was not what you're saying it is at all. Are they feeding? Now they're going to see the EB and they need the CB. Can you guys hear them? I'm, I mean, I assume you can hear them, but like, can you hear them well? Yes, okay, well, I don't know what the audio sounds like. It's so loud here. Sounds insane? Oh, it is insane. Let me see if I can take a picture of this tree. It just doesn't do it justice. I take it back. I don't want that picture. Stupid picture. Crazy. Look at this, so cute! Oh my god! I love them. I love their little heads. I love their little beaks. I like the way they look around. There's a male on the top of that, like balancing on that little pool. Oh my God. On that branch up there, it's cute. He's, he's gonna get, oh my God, he's gonna get smacked. <laughs> no, if someone bumps him, I, I will cry. Oh, please. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. All right, shall we? The noise is probably a lot. You guys get to see them. You guys got to see them in the tree. They're pretty much out of the air now. There's, it's insane. There's no more in this guy. I know, that's why, like, oh yeah, there are. <laughs> They're all right here. It's just dark. No, but you're right, over there, there's, they're gone. It's crazy how that works. It's like when we first got here, I was like, there's no way they're all gonna show up. And then they were just all of a sudden everywhere. It's so loud back there. It is so loud back there. Yeah, it's crazy. You didn't get pooped on at all. That's incredible. Nope. Not one poop. Good Not for you. Me. How do I send footage to that man? <laughs> <laughs> Without like, you send the drive of the video, I'll just send like a B-roll clip or something to him. I don't want to, I'm not going to send him like the VOD. Imagine.
It's us at the grocery store. He's like, oh no, they sent the wrong footage. It's insane to me that there's just no more birds in the sky at all. Yeah. So we're just surrounded by life. It is crazy. Outro. Oh, can I do it in the car? There are people right there. <laughs> what? I forgot. So we're in public. I'm not gonna be like, all right, guys, hit that subscribe button. I'm talking really loud, actually. Yeah, they can hear you. <laughs> oh. Um. All right, guys. No, uh, all the birds. It's time. It's time. There we go. All of the birds have put themselves up in, like, only in, in a couple trees. There were so many in the sky, an indescribable amount of birds in the sky. I think that the camera kind of did it justice, honestly, with the DSLR, but when I did this with a iPhone, or when I did this with a phone, there's no way it did it justice. This is crazy. This was a crazy experience. Um, I got pooped on twice. Uh, I hope you guys learned a little bit about Purple Martins. Um, and yeah, it was really cool. Like and subscribe. Check out Purple Martin Conservation Association. I will put their info in my description of this video. Purple party. Good night. That's just the outro for YouTube, guys. We're still live. Um, is that enough for a video? Oh, yeah. Just a bunch of B-roll. And like the you grocery store? You're talking store? about it, grocery store. Okay. You're talking about it with over the B roll. Then you just like do some, okay, like, cool. oh my god, I can't believe how many there are. Blah, blah, blah. It should be easy. Okay, cool. All right, all right, all right. Um, that's crazy. Guys, uh, before we end the stream, I have something really cool to show you guys. You guys are going to watch it, and I'm going to watch along on my phone. It's, it's going to be really cool. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this stream, don't go anywhere. It's bird poop. Wait. What? You forgot one of those purple things. Oh, yeah. Um, and then we're going to try this purple gum. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> but before that, everybody, really quick, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. <laughs> Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Ow! Ice Cube. It is Ice Cube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did they say who he was? Sick. Yeah, they put it at the end. Was he a turtle? Oh, uh, they didn't say that. Oh, hey guys. Okay. Um. I don't know, Flip. I don't know who that is. Um, guys, big thank you so much for watching that. I actually appreciate it. Um, that is it. Uh, we could... Should we drive back and play Ice Cube? <laughs> and eat these Ice Cubes? Yes. This is our last purple food for the purple party. Here you go. Oh, I gave you two. I ate them both. <laughs> okay. Was that planned? No. Ooh. That's really bad for you. <laughs> you like them? Yeah, it's really good. Did you eat two of them or one? One. Try eating two. Two of them was like overkill. <laughs> Too much flavor. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> What are they? It's gum. Did she get pooped on a second time? Yes. I have a song request. What is it? It's Start Wearing Purple by Gogol Bordello. Okay. We'll play it.
It's part of the purple party. Purple party. Space, thank you. Would it start wearing purple? Mm-hmm. Start wearing purple, wearing purple. You like it? Start wearing purple for me now. And we can say we'll... <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. CT for Animal Quest Box Edition. It's a doozy. Please watch. I've worked really hard on it. Um, I have to continue working on it until tomorrow. But uh, I think it'll be a good one. See you tomorrow at 11 a.m. Please come back. I hope you guys like the stream. Happy Purple Party, everybody. Joe, thank you so much for answering questions. Thank you for being in chat. I appreciate it. Hope you guys like the birds. Hope you learned a little bit. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. Still online.